Hello all and welcome to tonight's beer review which I am dubbing the... I wasn't planning on doing this beer review but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I had a rough day at work and I was actually just planning on going to sleep you know after I got home but I was so tired while I was grocery shopping and I decided when I was picking up dinner that I would go and get a uh, energy drink. It's an energy drink I actually like, but I don't drink too much. It's basically like a sparkling water with caffeine inside of it. And I had that with my dinner, and it made it so I couldn't sleep. So, um, yeah. Well, while it's not actually super late at night, it's not even 9 o'clock yet, it's actually a bit earlier than I usually do my uh, Thursday night reviews, you know, uh, I figured I might as well. Plus two, it's kind of chilly. This beer that was at uh, at uh, Time Supermarket, which doesn't really carry much craft beers or, you know, um, craft beers they do carry are usually pretty, pretty dated. This, um, you know, uh, I was actually surprised. I thought I had reviewed this, but apparently I haven't yet. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Now, because it's a little bit breezy and slightly chilly... Well, by my standard, just probably ball, absolutely balmy to anyone on the mainland right now. Um, you know, I had a little nip of whiskey because why this particular beer here is a summer beer, a very cold summer beer, and um, yeah, I just wanted to, I just had you know very little, just to go and keep me from getting too chilled, chilled as it were. Well, having this. Now, this is a American style wheat ale, very light. This is 4.0 ABV. That's another reason why I had why I had a nip of whiskey before reviewing this, is because at 4.0 ABV, uh, this you know this would this 24 ounces would be like just get me to a slight buzz, <laughs> which is probably a bad thing when you think about it. So, anyways, this is a mango wheat ale, 4.0 ABV, and, um, yeah, Golden Road, which is ridiculously easy to find. It is very well distributed here in Hawaii for reasons I can't fathom. I don't know. I guess they have a very, very good distributor. Um, uh, Golden Road Brewing, if you're watching this, which you probably would never will, you should go and congratulate your distributor here in Hawaii because they are able to get it just about everywhere. It's it's actually a little bit scary where you can find this for sale. So they're, they're doing good work on your behalf and you should go and reward them for that because like you will often be like the only craft beer that you can find in some places. So let's get to this, shall we? Now I've actually had this before, which is why I'm surprised I haven't reviewed this yet. I guess I just, I just never got around to it. So giving this a fairly vigorous pour into the tulip. Very light straw yellow, cloudy, with a fizzy to frothy white head. That is redolent of mango. And a very slight wheat funk. Sort of that wheat in cereal funk. But definitely mango predominates. Maybe some slight, ever so slight and subtle, whetstone hints. Not as, carbonated as, not as carbonated as I would expect it to be. And onto the palate it goes. Very light, very refreshing. The mango is definitely not up front, it is in the finish, and to the long finish. In fact, the mango is pretty much all you can taste in the long finish. There's also a lasting fruitiness on the palate as part of the finish. Mango fruitiness. A 
very crisp up front. Just a very slight crackery to bready cereal maltiness, very slight, just kind of even throughout, but really just kind of dominated by mango there, which is everywhere but in the uh, front. Front is definitely much more just crisp coldness, that sort of carbonation bite, as it were. If it weren't for that very slight maltiness that's kind of throughout it, um, this would just basically be a mango flavored light beer. And it pretty much is a mango flavored light beer. It is just, you know, there's some malt definition there. Absolutely no real hop definition. It's obviously there, otherwise this would be cloyingly sweet, but there's not really a perceptible bitterness to it. Goes down remarkably easy. I gotta say, pretty much the defining taste characteristic of this is mango. If you enjoy mango, you'll enjoy this. If you don't enjoy mango, you won't enjoy this. When I was a kid, I hated mango quite a bit. Um, as an adult, I developed a taste for it, so this isn't unpleasant to me. But at the same time, you know, what can I say about this other than the, then say perhaps, well, it's better than the mango seltzer, you know, because there's actual body to it. I think that's probably my biggest problem with hard seltzers is there's no there there in regards to body. It's basically flavoring, wateriness, and carbonation. This is a beer. So there's some, even the light beer has much more substantive, substantiveness to it, substantiveness, substantiveness, something more substantive to it than, say, a hard seltzer does. But I've had this discussion quite a bit already on multiple videos. Uh, I shouldn't go and rehash it all over again. If you like mangoes, you like this. If you don't like mangoes, you probably won't like this. Um, if you like mangoes, but only, but really want like a complicated, you know, you know, a complex, multi-layered fruit beer, that's not what you're getting. But why are you drinking fruit beers if you want something that's really complex and multi-layered? Go and get a lambic or something if you want something that's got like a fruit note to it that's, you know, really complex. This is a light beer with, this is a light wheat ale with basically light American wheat ale with basically mango. Um, it's hitting the spot and it's refreshing too, you know, since I'm now warm because of that whiskey I got me and as you can tell obviously from my loquaciousness and my stumbling over words um, that yes, I am very much a lightweight because I really did, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say I just had a little bit of whiskey. I, I do tend to um, get it comes on fast and fast and furious, but it also departs fast and furious as well. The alcohol to my head, that is. Well, Golden Road Brewing's Mango Cart. Pretty much not complex, but it is refreshing. If you like mango flavor, this might be your jam. If you don't like mango flavor refreshing beers, well, to each their own, I suppose. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers.